This year tried to break me and failed. I'm FX DLS Brooklyn and I'm still here. So I started this new year at one of the lowest points I've ever been in my entire life. I had recently been in a nearly fatal bike wreck that took everything from me in the blink of an eye. I couldn't work, I couldn't ride, I couldn't even walk. The only thing I could do is plot my comeback to take another shot at this world that was trying to break me. So I live by the code of positive mental attitude, but I would be lying to you if I said I wasn't lost there for a few months. If you were subscribed to me about a year ago, then at that time you saw my channel go dark for a few months. I felt like I had no place creating motorcycle content if I wasn't actively riding a motorcycle. But after a lot of encouragement from my friends, I reclaimed my life as a motorcycle content creator and reconnected with the community that had been my main positive outlet for most of my adult life. While I sat on the sidelines watching life go on without me, I vowed to do everything in my power to return to my life. Okay, so this is status report number one. We're with the road captain. And we used to ride motorcycles together, but now we go to physical therapy together. And this is day number one for me. Still in a lot of pain, but the doctor says we need to start moving. So we're starting physical therapy today and that's it. We're thankful to be alive and we're gonna go uh, get in some physical therapy now. They say the truest revenge is living a fulfilling and positive life, and I'd be damned if I didn't come back better than I left off. What is dead may never die, but rises again harder and stronger. In a poetic twist of fate, the day I was actually cleared to ride my motorcycle again was actually on Easter Sunday in the spring. I decided to share this moment with you all as it was probably one of my biggest victories at this point in my recovery. So how did I get there in the time that I did? So if they told me to walk around the block once, I did it twice. If they gave me 10 reps to do a physical therapy, I did 20. You'll never understand the pain and the hell I had to crawl through to achieve this moment of rolling through my first mile again on my Dyna. I had reached my first main goal, which was to reclaim my life as a biker, and I had no plans of stopping there. Like I said, I was dead set on living after my wreck, and I began to viciously cross things off of my bucket list. Because if there's one thing I learned this year, it's that you could be kicking that bucket a lot sooner than you think. One of these items was to do a full bike trip grounded in moto camping with my dad. So this was actually one of my favorite bike trips to date. It totaled over 4,000 miles, the bike trip started with some of my best friends on two wheels, and the bike trip culminated with me and my dad just doing a whole bunch of moto camping. So as we got to the tail end of this trip, I knew that there was another thing I had always been wanting to cross off of my bucket list. The act of riding 1k in one day is a pretty standard and normal activity for anyone that's in my crew. Hell, my brother Vong Asphalt actually rode 4,000 miles in 4 days like it was nothing. But the one thing that I had always really wanted to do was to just do a 1k in one day with my dad. So we closed out our summer bike trip by crushing 1,000 miles in 16 hours, achieving this goal while the sun was still high in the sky. So this momentum of seizing my goals rather than putting them on the sidelines continued past the summer. The Lowrider ST went from a one day I'll have this bike to actually my bike with an ongoing build around it. My Dyna was actually featured in the current issue of Primary Magazine, a printed publication in Japan. And finally, I helped support my brother Vong Asphalt finally taking his motorcycle photography to the next level. I found my way back to a sober lifestyle grounded in discipline and I've been living every minute to the absolute fullest. So to start to close this one out, my fiance got me this coin to commemorate surviving and thriving through the most brutal year of my life. I hold on to this coin at all times for the simple reminder that at any time, this can all end. So if there's some goal that you've ever wanted to achieve or there's some dream that you've always wanted to pursue, you better start making moves to do it at all costs. So to this very day, I wake up and fall asleep every day in pain and there are many things that I permanently lost after this year but I'm closing out this year both harder and stronger in so many ways. Rather than wasting my energy dwelling on the things I can't control, I've harnessed that energy in the positive direction to unlock my true potential and push myself to overcome the odds. I have no plans of slowing down. And if you thought this year was a comeback story, well, wait until you see what we have in store for the year ahead. This year tried to break me and failed. I'm FX DLS Brooklyn and I'm still here. 
If you're currently watching this video, then you too are still here despite whatever challenges this year threw your way. Whatever you're going through, know that the true path forward always exists and is grounded in PMA. Stay safe, stay low, have an excellent new year, and on that, FX DLS Brooklyn is out. <laughs>